Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg, although in a different room today. Chris, how's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We finally got some fight news to talk about. You're going to be taking on Leslie Smith, May 21st. Now that we know the fight is on, when did you actually know about this fight? I got to know because uh, obviously on the catch up, we got to get the scoop. You know, I think uh, when they announced uh, they're going to be in Showtime, they're going to be uh, Bellator is going to be with Showtime. Then I did I didn't know about the fight, and it's nice. Then the wait to they do the first event for the announce, and it make me really happy. I was very excited, you know, but I was going to announce before then, and but I was very happy about. It. That's great. Um, obviously, a great fight. There's some history there. You guys have fought before. Where do you feel like she's improved since the first fight? Because you've had an opportunity to see her now compete under the Bellator banner. Uh, you know, Leslie, we fought before, six years ago. You know, mm -hmm. for sure, a different fighter. And she beat some girls, like top five in UFC. Uh, Le um, Amanda Lemos, Arlene. And now she beat some girls top five. And she's 5'1" size our fight you know six years old like i am the different fighter now she probably is different fighter and the first time when you fought against shadow i was really worried about my weight i was really focused for make weight you know it's nothing real really about the fight and for sure this is going to be one great fight between us that's great. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And I'm sure we'll be talking about this as the weeks go on leading up to that fight because it is a ways away here on uh, May 21st. Um, before we get into our next uh, segment on the show, I do want to remind people, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Normally I remember off the top, but today I, I forgot. So I have to get the plugs in there. We always appreciate the support from everyone watching the show. But uh, we had a great Bellator card last Friday. Emmanuel Sanchez, Patricio Pitbull, Freite. It is Pitbull getting the first round submission victory. Chris, I thought this was a statement win from Patricio Pitbull to take out a guy that he's already beat in Emmanuel Sanchez, what did you think of the fight? You know, it was so amazing because uh, the last fight then really war. You know, remember I talk about the one, and now you can see like Pitbull just wait the moment, very control. You know, the what moment to to, to get it in nice and touching the target. And you know, I believe he is in prime. Like he look like some PI in his prime. Yeah. You know, I'm really happy. I watch very close and. And I'm very excited for his next fight. Yeah, and just the fact that Emmanuel Sanchez is so tough to finish and the fact yeah. they did it in the first round, even more impressive. So really excited for the next fight for Pitbull, which you know because it's a tournament. He's going to be fighting AJ McKee. I love the stare down in the cage. Kudos to Bellator for doing that. Uh, I can't wait for that fight. Do you think that's the biggest fight in Bellator history? Because I think it's very rare to get a fighter in their prime in Patricio Pitbull against, to me, the, the best rising star in MMA right now in AJ McKee. What do you think of that fight? The nice thing about this fight, they both... Then they both came from Bellator. You know, mm -hmm. they both like uh, the grow grow up in Homegrown, Bellator. Yeah. And AJ he's like in defeated and then there's gonna be a nice challenge against Pitbull. And I think it's gonna be a great fight. I think it'll be a tough fight, you know, always with the Brazilian, but I like because both came and grow uh, growing in Bellator. This is a nice thing. And I know both fighters very well. I've been interviewing both of them for years. Uh, it's such a weird fight because Pipple's never, I mean, he's lost. He's lost four times, but a lot of those were decision losses. He's tough to finish. And AJ McKee has yet to lose a fight. So I don't know who's going to win that one. I can't wait till we get to preview that one in a few weeks here, but uh, really excited about that fight. Uh, going to be coming up next uh, for the final of the Featherweight uh, Grand Prix. Uh, also on that card, a bit of controversy. We had a uh, former, uh, you know, the catch up uh, co host Jason Jackson in action against a guy I know you know. In Neiman Gracie, who is now training at King's MMA. Jackson gets the nod in the fight. What did you think? Because some people felt like it was a bit of a robbery in that one. You know, I, I, I watched the fight. You know, I think Neiman, I think he's 2-1, that fight. Because, I, uh, not because I have a lot of action, but because he's in a lot of position, control position. And, but you know, I, I the, the one thing, I know he came from one injury in the fight. And we train together. And the nice thing is no complaint, no excuse one time after the fight, you know. Yeah. And for sure he's going to grow grow about this. But I believe he, when you're watching the fight, he's a true one for him, you know. Yeah. And he's going to get strong and come on back 100%. Yeah, we'll see how that, uh, that if that, they end up doing a rematch down the line, we'll see. But either way, Neiman Gracie's got two losses. He's got a close loss to Jackson last week, like we said, a bit of a controversial decision. And then the only other loss he has is a Roy McDonald. I mean, this guy is going to be in Bellator for a while, so keep your eye on him. And kudos to Jackson as well for getting the win. I think he's going to be fighting for a title soon on top of that. Uh, we have Bellator yeah. 256 coming up here this Friday. We've got the rematch, Ryan Bader, Lyoto Machida. Who do you got in this one? I know maybe a little allegiance to the Brazilians uh, with, with Lyoto Machida, but uh, I can't wait for this one. You know, Ryan Bender is a very tough fighter and he's a very good wrestler, you know. And Machida, 
is a lot of experience too, and then he's very trick strike. You know, I think it's gonna be a great fight. But I always stick with Brazilian, but it's gonna be a tough fight for Machida. Great fight. I'm gonna take Ryan Bader because people say I look like him. Do you agree? Do you think I look like Ryan Bader a little bit? A little bit, yeah. A little yeah, bit. I've been told that. Yeah, you know, it's all good. But uh, he's a handsome guy. I'll, I'll take that compliment. Um, also on the card, we have uh, Kat Zangano, someone I know you're paying attention to uh, because she's a featherweight. She's going to be taking on Liv Parker. Uh, who do you think takes that fight? Because a lot of people feel like Kat, Kat's, uh, you know, definitely outmatching her in this one. You know, Kat Zangano, she did a great last fight too. And I believe she's going to do great this fight. It's going to be nice. She's looking great. Because then we can look for our, our fight in the you know, end of the year. And I think a lot of fans would like to watch this. And you know, I hope she'll do very well to the next fight. Do you get the indication that if Kat wins, uh, she'll be fighting you, the winner of you and, and Leslie Smith? Um, Julia Budd is also on the card as well. I mean, I guess we'll have to see who has the more impressive performance. But do you get that sense that you and Kat will eventually fight? No, she's in the division. I think anyone in the division, they get a wins. And they're going to be a, you know, for a fight for the title. Uh, I really know no Mark. To, oh, I want to fight her. I just wait in training and uh, wait. She's not doing her fights, but eventually. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time. Uh, pretty cool news that I just found out about recently. You're going to be in the new ESBC boxing video game. Uh, it's one of the first to have like a women's division. When did you find this out, and how did this all come together? Because this is pretty cool news. You know, I was I was very happy. It's not the honor to be part, you know, to the the, the box award. And everybody knows I have a dream to fight boxing. Now it's going to be in video game. Yeah. And it's nice. I went to the UFC video game. You know, was everybody, the fans really enjoy play with me. And for sure, the boxing world is interesting too. Uh, and I'd be very thankful to be part of this. Yes. And for those who want information on that, it's going to be coming out on Xbox and PlayStation this summer. So keep your tabs up for that. Chris, you can, it's great. We can play Chris in the UFC game. And now in this game, it's everywhere, right? So that, I think that's really uh, cool to see. Uh, as always, we've got to do our Portuguese saying of the week. I'm getting better every week. Uh, this week, we're going to go, can I wash your car? So how would I say, can I wash your car? Posso. Posso. Lavar. Lavar. Teu carro. Teu carro. Teu Theo? Carro. Carro. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's let's do that one more time. We'll go through it. I know I'm getting better. I, I'm telling you, you're, if the fighting thing doesn't work out. Teaching is definitely in your in your cards here. So let, let's let's say it one more time. How how would I say it again? Bosso. Bosso. Lavar. Lavar. Seu. Seu. Carro. Carro. Yes. There we go. I'm going to have a clean car because of you. So I appreciate that. That's great. You watch cars. You know, you're going to have a job. Then. There you go. Exactly. If this, if this interviewing thing doesn't work out, I can always wash cars. There you go. In Brazil, it'll, it'll be all, uh, all good there. As we always do before we wrap things up here on the catch up, we got to remind people about the premium service for less than a cup of coffee. You get a premium content with Chris Cyborg. Uh, you go to chriscyborg.com. Like I said, less than a cup of coffee. You get premium content. There's a Q and a, there's exclusive videos. Um, any, any information you can add on this, Chris, with uh, some of the stuff on the premium channel. You know, so cool because before you know, I face off, uh, face off Leslie. I have, I was with my uh, prime people, you know, my fans, and it was really nice and very exciting, you know. And then you feel the like to know things before, you know, everybody knows, and be part of this group, you know. It's really nice. I share a lot of experience with them, and I appreciate everyone, you know, being the the premium service. And Q and A, do we have any information on when the next one will be? I know you had one recently, right? So yeah. probably be up soon. I- one but probably yeah maybe two weeks i don't know okay either way keep keep tabs you're always active on social media one of my favorite things is checking out your twitter and instagram always keeping updated so we'll i'm sure we'll get some inf- information on that uh great time to end the show here chris really appreciate it as always um just anything you want to plug any any social media any anything like that uh, i'll give you the floor you know, thank you guys. I really appreciate all love you guys sent to me. And I'm very happy. I'm training really hard to my next fight. Make sure you guys put your calendar, you know, to May 21, May 21st. And it's going to be amazing. Showtime. And, you know, I'm very happy coming back. You know, I went to Showtime in the Strike Force. And now I have come back with Bellator. It's going to be huge for us. It's going to be awesome. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports. Make sure you subscribe to Chris's YouTube channel where you can find the show every single week. We do it on Tuesdays. Comes out usually Wednesday or, or whenever. Usually when we get it up type thing. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And leave us some feedback. We're always looking to add uh, you know new topics to the show every week. That's why we call it the catch up. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back here next week. And hope you hope everyone has a great uh, week. And stay safe out there, everyone.